What's up? It is I, your friend, confidant, brother in arms, Mr. Cinema Junkie. If you watched any videos last week, I hope you saw the contest drawing that Danny had. He drew a winner, and that winner was me. What did I win? If you didn't catch the video, then I'll show you right now. Because the package showed up today. Right on my front porch, just like he said it would. I was like, pressed with my nose against the window. Come on, you, get here. Then I went to sit down, and like two minutes later, there was a big knock on the door. I was like, Sandy Claus. And I ran over there, and there it was. I noticed that the FedEx people kind of, I remember it used to be FedEx and UPS, they'd bring a package and they'd knock on the door and you open the door and they're standing there with the package and a clipboard in their hand and they're like, UPS or FedEx? And like, oh, oh, thank you, oh, what's this? I can't imagine what this could be. And they take it and they hand you the clipboard and the little fake pen, the little stylus, and you sign it and they scan it, beep, and they go, okay, thank you, have a good day, sir, and they take off. Now... They leave the package on there like they're dropping off a mail bomb. Like, <laughs> throw it up there and run. I'm like, hey, 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 come back so I can thank you properly. Son of a bitch. But anyways, it's here. Oh, See? Look at this. Danny, I want to thank you sincerely, man. That is awesome. I was just, like, shocked. Out of all those cool entries, out of all the people that entered, that my name got picked is just beyond belief. And I am ecstatic. And you are right. I am one lucky bastard. So let's get down to business, shall we? And because he was so generous with this prize, because this is extremely cool, an extremely cool prize for any collector such as myself to have, he had told me that, what happened to my camp? Oh, he had told me that he had never had this figure out of the box. He said he wanted to see it out of the box. I don't know if the person before him had it out. He said it wasn't new when he bought it. So I don't know if the person who had it before him ever had it out of the box. But for him, even though I don't usually take my stuff out of the box, I will do this because, because he asked me. And I think that's only fair. Yeah, this, this knife is not... Serial killer quality, man. You'd be better off beating them to death with the with the handle. There we go. Ah, yeah. And it's a big bubble wrap. Good God, I could sleep on that. Check it out. It's like a pillow, man. It's nice. I haven't seen bubble wrap that big in a while. And, the, and the, the actual bonus to this is, I was looking for a box. I have a bunch of extra DVDs and no shelf space. I need to box them up. And the box came. I can use that. This is perfect. It's like a bonus. That's one. This is great packaging, by the way. Package like no other, sir. Oh, I've been shot. I don't want to cut too deep on this. There you go. While I'm unwrapping this, has anybody seen the Rebecca Black video, uh, the parody called Sunday? 
Oh yeah, that was a trip. Man, these are some big old bubbles on here, man. Listen to this. Woo. Yeah, yeah, buddy. There it is. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, there it is. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Thomas Hewitt Leatherface figure. Oh, I wish the lighting was better. But there it is. And now you're going to get a good look at it because I'm taking it out of the package right now. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Okay, first off, let me show you one of the accessories. If I can get them out of here. Taped in. Yeah, this is all wired in. Hold on, guys. Sorry. I really should have planned this a little bit better. Oh, it's, this is. Yeah, this has never been out of the box because there's a wire fascinating. It's fascinating the figure here, and it's taped over. So this has never been taken out of this at all. I, if I stop the video now, I'm going to have to re-edit. It doesn't look as good when it re-edits. I need to re-update the, uh, the video editor that I'm using. And I'm just going to hope I can put all this back in the way it is. Because I'm definitely going to display it in the box. Even though this is a beautiful figure, man. It really is. Uh, it has a really nice stand for it and stuff. But I'm just really, really anal about my figures being out of the box because I don't like displaying them like that. It, always something happens. If I display something outside of a box, it, it just seems to want to fall and get dirtied up and all that stuff. I don't want that to happen to this. Plus, it has a really cool backdrop in there. Okay, let me unwind this. Look at me, man. I'm a, like a damn professional here. I mean, he is really tied in here. He's getting on the hands, legs, that bands, and that around the wrists. This guy is really fastened in good. That's good because that way it keeps it from moving around. While I'm unwinding this here and getting it unwrapped. Why don't you guys comment below and tell me, did you like the remake to Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Did you not like the remake to Texas Chainsaw Massacre? And whether you liked it or didn't like it, tell me why. What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Okay, this part's going to be kind of tricky because this is like solid plastic here. Oh wait, I might be able to just pull that off. Hold on. Yeah. I have not had a figure like this in forever. I think the last figure I had that was this big was a Steve Austin figure. What was this size, I should say? It's alive. Alive. Man, there's t there's two more at the bottom that I didn't see. They're black. This is really tight in. That 
that's just busy work at the factory. You know, now that I went through all the trouble of getting this out of the package, I just may display it like this now. This will be the first one I've ever displayed out of the package. Okay. Let me take this off here. And take this off here. And here it is. It's got a leather apron. There's the face. The boots are even like, he's got trip boots, man. Look at those. Look at the soles on that. That is crazy. Kicking the nuts, you'll know it, man. Okay. So then, as long as I got that out, I might as well go for gold, right? Get the, the accessories out, too. Yeah, you know what? I may just go ahead and display this. For the first time, I'm going to display one of these out of the stand, but I'm keeping the box. There's no way I'm getting rid of the box, because I just may decide to put it back up. If things start happening to it, or if I see that it's going to start getting messed up, I'll put it right back in the box and just display it with the, with the cover open. Yeah, oh, this is sweet, man. Come on, you. Don't say nothing, just give it here. There we go. Okay. There's his chainsaw. Dig that, man. That is very sweet. It's very detailed, too. It's even got the little pull string. See the little right here? Ring! It's like a pocket chainsaw. So. His hands are built to to hold on to these. Let's see. Yeah, there's. I don't want to mess this up. Please don't let me mess this up. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to force this in here. I'm just, I'll set it up later. But yeah, you have the display and the chainsaw. And there's one more little accessory here that I need to kind of pry out of here, but I don't want to mess this up at all. Just... That popped right out. It's a hatchet axe. And it has a little square feature there. So. Slip that right in there. Ah, Leatherface, kill you. I mean, it, it's very detailed, man. Look, you got those pimp rings. Look at those rings, man. Thomas Hewitt is pimp, dude. Look at that. Knuckle dusters, dude. And now let me try to get the stand out of here because it's behind its own little sheet of plastic. Yeah, see, this is pretty much going to guarantee that once I take this out of here, I'm not going to be able to use the box too much. What is this? That's a weird stand, man. I, I was looking at it wrong. I thought it was something totally different. Let's take a look here. Yeah, well, the box is toast now. I can't really use that as a display now. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it now. Oh. 
Check this out. Look at the base. Huh? We got this here. And I believe that goes down in there like that. And then this goes right around the legs like that. And then he stands. This is badass, man. I am so impressed. This is this is so choice. One second. God bless him, he looks just like his daddy. Oh. Okay, that was ridiculous. Anyways, guys, that was my huge, huge unpackaging. And I'm going to go set this up. I really do like it. I'm definitely setting this up. So, again... Danny, thank you so much, man. This is friggin' awesome, man. If you guys have not checked him out yet, his link will be below. Definitely go check him out. Friend him, sub him. Check out his vids. Rate him. Comment. Subscribe. You know the deal. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your subscriptions. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I definitely appreciate the awesome prize. Thanks again, man. I'll see you in uh, see you on the boards. Okay. Talk to y'all later.